Hello happy family. Welcome once again to Opis channel. In today's video, I'm going to guide you on how to make the best banku for any stew that you have. This is so easy and very good to make and I'm going to guide you how to make it step by step. So please don't go nowhere. Come with me to the kitchen and let's start cooking. So now I am going to use my Indian head cornmeal. Yeah, I know most of you is very familiar with this cornmeal and this is the first cornmeal that I had the first time I came into United States. So I've decided to use this cornmeal but if you have any one that you like, you can just go ahead and use it. But this cornmeal is very good because it's not very sour. So next I'm going to strain my cornmeal, I'm going to cut it up and then make sure that I don't have any pieces in it but i know this cornmeal is done like you know the authentic way how they grind it and process it they did it like in an authentic way so i just want to make sure that it doesn't have like pieces in it and after that you know i'm just going to show you how to do this so now i strain my cornmeal you can tell it doesn't have any pieces and i'm just going to go ahead and dump the rest of it like i said if you have any cornmeal that you love you can go ahead and use it it doesn't have to be this one so as you can see this cornmeal it is a lot of them and i'm going to show you how to keep it and then preserve it as well so next i am adding in some water i'm not going to add all of it and also if you want to make a till please you can use the same cornmeal but don't add water okay you can just cook it right away without you know preserving it first because you're going to use to prepare benku or kinke so that's why i am showing you how to preserve your cornmeal but if you want to make the authentic etel don't add water just cook it straight forward so next i'm adding in my water i'm just going to go ahead and mix them well i'm going to make sure that everything is nicely mixed you know because we don't want our condo to be you know just mixed anyhow we want to do it like perfection way so yeah make sure that you mix your corn very well and like i said if you are making kenke okay or if you are just using it to make cocoa don't add any cassava in it okay i know in ashanti some of us use cassava to make kenke it is not a crime to use cassava to make a kenke i recently made a kenke recipe and i had a lot of comments about kenke being used with cassava but i was growing up you know as a child and all the friends and family that i've seen most of africans you know add cassava in their kenke but if you don't like cassava please don't add it maybe your culture doesn't tell you don't add in cassava but some also have to add cassava to make their kenke or banku but not to be offensive or offended please do whatever you like or you prefer and what makes you happy so right now after it is well mixed you can see this is how it's gonna form the dough this is the perfect consistency that we need and then i'm going to you know just form it in one shape and i'm going to cover it up and i'm going to leave it out to sit until it ferments so i'm going to leave it out to sit for about three days and that will be enough for this kinky to ferment and after three days you can just go ahead and use it for your cocoa or for your banku or for your kinky like i said if you want to use it for kinky or banku just go ahead and use it so after three days i just put it back in my fridge and of course i used some to make cocoa and it was delicious i really enjoy it so as for today we are just going to use it to make benku yeah and i really love my benku i remember in ghana i always love to add cassava to my benku you know it is my option if you don't like cassava you can skip it but as for this moment, I don't have cassava right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cook it how it is. And I promise you, it's still gonna taste delicious and it's gonna be very, very soft. So I'm adding in my condo gradually and I'm picking up from the top because the top intends to get more fermentation than the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add in my condo and it is ready. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this together. So first, I'm going to add in my salt. We have to season this banku, so go ahead and add in any salt. You can add your sea salt or your red salt, any salt that you have. And I'm adding in my water. 
so please feel free and add your pot with water and then to the consistency that you like me i like my banku to be very soft i don't want hard banku so i'm gonna keep adding in water until i get the consistency that i want that is my choice but if you like hard banku it is your choice just make it as hard as rocky as you want okay so now i turn on my stove and i'm going to um go ahead and make my banku i am super excited because i recently made infante fanti stew that will definitely go with this banku and i'm just showing this recipe so you can also enjoy with your infante fanti stew as well the fanti fanti stew is fresh and spicy sauce okay it is just delicious everybody loves it and i believe you will enjoy it as well so please feel free and keep stirring until the dough or your banku becomes very lumpy that's what you want okay so next i'm going to get some water on the side and this water is what i'm going to use to make my banku you know just in case if i need it that is the fresh water that i want so go ahead and keep stirring until it begins to form so i'm just going to take a quick moment and thank you all so much for buying my mandy basmati rice i can't believe it it was just amazing it is just a blessing because this rice was sold just three days three days i am so amazed i just want to keep thanking you all for just trusting me and buying this rice. it's just amazing i can't believe it like I never knew that i'm so loved thank you so much i really appreciate you and i pray that the lord will restore you wherever the money came from i pray the lord will restore multiples for you i really appreciate you and right now i don't have mandy rice it is run out so i'm gonna let you know when i have some in store so yes i'll keep you updated as soon as i get more rice in i'll let you know thank you so much for your business so i'm just gonna keep stirring my banku it is looking really really delicious and as you can tell the consistency it is just mwah. i like it it is soft it's not too hard it is in between you know this is just perfection right there i love it and i'm just gonna enjoy with my stew in fact so next after we keep stirring make sure that you know you get everything in there and nothing falls apart okay so as you can see i am done with stirring so i'm going to go ahead and cover this banku and then have it cook yeah so make sure that everything like i said get in there we're not wasting anything at all okay so go ahead and cover it and leave it on to cook for 10 minutes so after 10 minutes you are going to open it again and you're going to keep stirring and stir and stir like what i'm doing right now you need your muscle you need the energy you need you know the energy to make this banku you know for your family and friends you know and loved ones including me yeah don't forget about me <laughs> yeah so next i'm going to cover it again and leave it on to you know cook for extra 15 minutes and my banku should be ready and as you can see right now after 15 minutes extra time it is looking so perfect mm. this banku is show is come and kasa so i'm going to show you how to form your banku in two different shape okay so first i am going to use you know just plastic wrap in ghana they have a really nice wrap that you can use to you know just form your banku here i cannot find it here to be frank with you i've searched it and i can't find it maybe i should have looked on african market but next time i'll try and see if i can i can find it so this is how i shape this banku just easy and simple way just keep ahead and grow your banku towards you and just go ahead and form it whichever shape that you like with me this is how i like mine this way it is easy you know to eat and then it is perfect it is so pleasing everyone will just enjoy whenever they see this banku they will be so excited okay so this is how i shape my banku just follow the same you know way and make yours and i believe you will rock it you're gonna nail it in fact i'm telling you <laughs> yeah so go ahead and shape it so this is the second time that i'm showing you how to shape your banku 
and also you can make it this way as well if you just want to make it like a little round you know like a ball shape you can go ahead and do it this way like how i am doing it right now yeah this is my style if you have a better style or better way it is all good or even if you want to eat it straight it is all good so after we are done shaping it we are going to enjoy this bangku with our infancy fancy stew this is spicy fish stew that i made and i have a video about it if you want to watch it or you want to check it out please feel free and watch and enjoy so thank you so much for watching and i also like my you know with a little bit of okra or okra on this side and just like that it is so nice it looks so delicious and i'm really enjoying it so i'm going to show bibiela this is how i make my authentic ghanaian benku until i see you again you can just enjoy whichever way that you want i'm going to show bibiela